Look at you. You, spe you specifically, you. You're gorgeous. You're lovely. You're optimal. You're perfect. You're great the way you are. I've been getting really great feedback, really great criticism on my shit. If I post stuff off of YouTube onto other places, sometimes it'll post it to a subreddit and someone will be like, yeah, this shit sucks. And I'll be like, yeah, me too, dude, I know. But what really annoys me, people just being rude directly at other people about things that are completely outside of their control. And I want to give like a kind of a case study of that. This seems a bit silly, but you look at Pokemon, this seems a bit silly, but I'm going to use Pokemane as a case study here. And it's not because I like her, I like another girl and she goes to another school, okay? I met her on holiday, she goes to another school, you don't know her, you don't know her. So imagine like what you consider attractive and you're probably going to jump to the conclusion of them in their absolute best light, done up in makeup, in the best shape they can be. And that's fine, There's norm that's normal, there's nothing wrong with that. But when you then take that imagery and apply it to yourself, you feel like, ooh, I'm, poor. I'm not looking so good, didn't do my hair today. I look like doo doo, I look like poop, mm, no, no. I want you to think about that. Do these people think this all the time? Or when they take these pictures, are they all dressed up for it? For that Instagram picture, how much makeup are they wearing? How much do they care about lighting? How much do they care about filters? Like any of those little factors can make a huge difference. And it's something you just got to think about yourself. Because I have bad days, I have good days. I have days where I look sexy as hell, I have days where I look like this. There's nothing wrong with wearing makeup or doing any of those things. I wouldn't call that lying to anyone or anything. Like that's silly. You can tell when someone's wearing makeup or when someone isn't. Even when someone's wearing very minimal makeup, just to look like the no makeup makeup look. Yeah, sure, that's just like, this is how I want to present myself. This is how I look. You don't owe that to anybody. If someone like dates you and then you take your makeup off the next day and you look different, it's like, yeah, that's that's the world we live in. Why do you think you had to wear your makeup like that? The fact that that person's pissed off about you, about how you look naturally, and then the, the next day they're like, oh, you didn't, mm, you played, you pulled a nasty trick on me by being a human with flaws. Like what, what is that? Why would you want to be with someone that shallow and such? If anything, you should be pissed at them and say, oh, well, you didn't tell me that you had a shit personality and care that much about what people look like the next day. The major part two of this is the blank canvas. Let's say someone's not wearing any makeup. They're, you know, they just woke up, they're in pajamas. So what if they look a bit tired? It really irritated me, which is why I mentioned Pokemon before, is that picture of her without makeup. She looks absolutely fine. She looks great, even. I'm sure there's tons of people you walk past on the street and you've seen and you've looked at and like, oh, they look nice. And your head was like, oh, she's gorgeous. And they look exactly the same. It's just because whenever you normally see these people, they're presenting themselves in glitz and glamour, dressed up nice, makeup done all nice, lighting nice. They're probably checking what they're having. And the, it's a cycle that fills in itself. Like, oh. People are lying to me and they're horrible oh, because they've had a day with no makeup and showed what they really look like and now I'm upset about it. Now they're never gonna fucking show you ever, you idiot. Like, what is that? Of course they're not gonna show you what they look like if you're rude to them every time you see. It's obvious what they look like. You can see past people's makeup, you can see their facial structure and they're still gorgeous. Basically what I'm saying is, look at you. You, spe you specifically you. You're gorgeous. You're lovely. You're optimal. You're perfect. You're great the way you are. Final part of this is that isn't an excuse not to do exercise or dress up nice because these things make us feel lovely. Sometimes I dress up like smart when I'm just on at home on my own. I like I do my like skincare stuff. I do my hair. I get dressed. Um, I dressed up in something nice and smart. It makes me feel really good. It makes me feel really good about myself. I've been exercising more again. That makes me feel great as well. It's good for your mental health anyway. And it's something you should be doing because it, it makes you healthier. That doesn't mean someone who is maybe on the bigger side, scrawnier side, less muscular. Some people are freakishly muscular and they look great too. And some people are freakishly muscular and don't look great because it's all in a matter of opinion. What really matters 
It's how you feel in yourself and how you feel confident. There's going to be someone out here who thinks you look great. There's like nothing these days that people don't think look good. So just quit being so hard on yourself. Jesus Christ, you look all right. Just like eat a carrot or something, one step at a time. Relax, buddy, you're on holiday. You know what I'm saying? Christ. Uh, I think that's all I got. Uh, it's pretty good. Fair. Oh, quick shout out to my um, patrons and like and subscribe or whatever and I Twitch stream, TikTok also. Sorry. Oh, I also have a, a Discord. Fuck you.